Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Today, we're fixing an awesome problem that is both bad and easy to fix. Because of the number of vehicles we have here in the Geek Group's Vehicular Sciences Lab, a lot of them have to sit in storage for extended periods of time, often a month or more. So, one of the things that we have trouble with is the batteries go dead. Now, on a standard lead-acid battery, you really don't want to let the battery go dead because when it does, it accumulates um, what's called sulfation, and the battery, once it goes fully dead, will never hold a proper charge again. So it's good to keep them topped off all the time. Well, the best way to do this for a vehicle that's going to be in storage for a long time is to get one of these nifty little things. And we got it at the local auto parts store for like 30 bucks. It's a Shoemaker 1.5 amp trickle charge maintainer thing. And what you do is you install this in the vehicle and you hardwire it to the battery through the terminals, which is really easy to do. Don't be scared of the electrical side of stuff. And when you're not using the vehicle, you just keep it plugged in and it keeps a constant top-off charge on the battery. And since it's only a little tiny one and a half amp charger, what that means is it'll take a long time to charge the battery, like you'd have to leave it probably for a day or two to fully charge a dead battery. But it's okay to leave it going all the time because it won't damage the battery in just having that constant little bit of energy on it. So it'll be cool. Whereas if you left a battery on like a 20 amp charger all the time, you'd cook the battery pretty fast. So here's how to install one. It's, it's really simple. We're going to start with just basic mounting of this, which we're using the true redneck system of zip screws because we don't really care all that much. Um, you just clip this on the bottom, you clip this on the top, and the holes line up right there. And you just set this down in here. You find a, a convenient spot to put it. We can put it here, we can put it down a thing. I'm thinking I'm going to put it where I like that set up. Yeah, I've got, I've got some ground screw stuff happening here, so you might have to get a little creative. Because you don't want to kink your leads too bad. So I'm probably just going to mount it right on the, uh, the tire well right here, which should be fine. Because this is a big old pickup truck with, you know, it's actually made out of metal. Remember back when vehicles were made out of metal? They used to do that. But I'll just mount it right there, and that'll be totally cool. So we'll, now that we know where we want that, we grab just a standard zip screw, which is properly called a self-tapping sheet metal screw. I'm going to cheat because usually these have a little magnet in them, but that particular one doesn't appear to. So I'll just put the screw right through there. Get this about where I want it. Then just zip it right in. This is not a high-tech project. It's very simple, very quick, relatively painless. I love zip screws. Works great. Now, the high-tech electrical side of things. This battery has a side post mount, so you get an 8 millimeter socket wrench, and red to red, black to black. Now the problem is, I got red wires on both sides, so which is my positive? Well, the plus on the battery is your clue, so the plus is positive. And you want to hook, you get that out of the way so it's somewhere safe, and just take this off. And you want to be careful working on a battery, because there's an impressive amount of power stored in there. The energy density of a lead acid battery would astound you. You just put this right under there and screw that right in. It's got a nice big terminal so it's easy to do. You just tighten that right down. Nothing to it. Now when working on a battery, remember that the negative side is the chassis ground for most American cars. This of course is not always the case, but overwhelmingly negative is the ground. So, if your metal wrench touches something, you know, the battery terminal and the car at the same time, if it's the minus post of the battery, that's no big deal at all. If it's the plus post of the battery, you're about to have a very bad day. So don't do something stupid like set your wrench on top of the battery or anything like that, because you'll get hurt. 
and you'll get hurt very bad in a hurry. It's only 12 volts, so it won't electrocute you. You don't have to worry about that. Like, I can touch both these posts of the battery. It's perfectly safe. It's only 12 volts. The resistance of human skin is high enough that you can't get enough current flowing across to cause any serious problem. But the resistance of your wrench is a lot lower than that of human skin, and it will mess up your whole day in short order. And you really don't want to experience that. It also helps if you don't cross-thread the bolt trying to put it in, so pay attention. There we go. And now we just use a couple zip ties to clean up our wiring and we are done. You get the socket off there. Your connection's kind of manky. But yeah, just a couple zip ties to clean things up and we're good to go. And now all we do when we store the truck is just plug this into an extension cord and it'll just keep a happy little charge on the battery. It's really that easy. So yeah, you can get these at any auto parts store for about 30 bucks for the little amp and a half ones. Mount it under your hood somewhere that'll stay relatively dry, and it's pretty simple. You can do this at home in about 10 minutes. So you guys have fun, and uh, we'll have more for you next week. See ya.